This is where I live. They told me when I moved in that nuns used to live here. Now it's mostly stoners. The apartment building is at the end of a cul-de-sac. You can almost always hear sirens in the distance. Two, eight, two, two, North First Street. The ad said, Large Studio River West Apartment, but really it's located in Harambe. It is big, though. It's only two miles from campus, but I still drive almost every day. I park in the back alley. The only time I've ever seen it busy was when I filmed this at five o'clock in the evening. I like my neighbors. I don't know them. But most everyone is nice enough to say hi when we run into each other in the alley or the hallway. I park in garage number four. But that's only because my landlord forgot to save me a regular parking spot before I moved in. My apartment is my safe space. I have become increasingly introverted over the past year. I think it's easiest to blame that on my apartment. I want to remember how I am now. Documentation is important. This room will never look the exact same again. As you're hearing these words, it has already changed. I want to remember how I am now. I want to remember this bed. I want to remember how I use Christmas lights to light up my first apartment. I want to remember how I found beauty in the oddest things when I was 20. I want to remember every nook and cranny of this space. Every detail, every outline. I want to remember who I am here because the world is always changing and no one ever stays the same. This is where I come from, McHenry, Illinois. Wasn't born here, but I grew up here, went to school here. All my childhood memories are of this place. Mostly I remember wanting to leave really badly. We spent afternoons and summers exploring Green Street. Everything is mostly closed down now. We grew up in a subdivision. We played on the streets, and we ran wild. We played in the woods down the street, if you can even call it that. It was, and still is, filled with garbage, but somehow we managed to find magic there. Magic that others couldn't see. I don't know why I hated growing up so much, or why I wanted to leave so badly, but at least I did get out. I left a lot sooner than most people leave their hometown, and now I see things a little bit differently.